Hey y'all, I am in zone 8A, 8B, depending on the year, because it keeps changing. But I'm gonna share with you all of the things that I'm planting in my fall winter garden. All right, so we still have some things that are um, producing over here. So let's walk over to the garden and then I'm gonna share with you the things that I'm actually planting. All right, so there are spider webs everywhere. I'm trying my best not to walk into them because I don't like spiders. But as you can see, we still have tomatoes coming in. Plenty of tomatoes. Now in here, I planted some cilantro. I dropped some cilantro seeds, but as you can see, I had to cover it because back here, squirrels were digging. Look, and even right there, squirrels were digging. So we have still have um, tomatoes coming in there. Um, over here, our eggplant is really um, starting to get tall. We have some pepper plants. I don't know how long they're gonna last. They've actually been in here since the summer. And I think my tomato is just about starting to give up over here because look how it's starting to lean. It's leaning really bad. I need to pull these because I have plenty of um, heirloom tomatoes, if you can see through all through there. Then I have some tomatoes down here. Uh, so I'm gonna let them stay until they don't want to do anything else but as you can see I have plenty of flowers still popping up everywhere so that's that now let's go over here oh y'all check this out okay it is spy it's spider webs and mosquitoes everywhere so these are my sugar daddy peas and they are starting to really do good and the squirrels they've been in here digging too so I'm gonna have to cover this up because it looks like they ate one of my things but Back there, oh my gosh. I dropped some radish seeds and they are really coming up. So I'm gonna have to thin those out tremendously because I don't want them to be crowded. So there's some radishes. And then over here, I dropped, um, what did I drop in here? Broccoli Rob, I think. I had dropped Broccoli Rob in here, but the squirrels have been in here digging. But you can see some of them just popped up. Why do I still have a strawberry flower blooming? That is crazy. Nothing is in here yet. Down here we have collards. Let me see if I can back up. Down here we have collards and I need to go ahead and cover it because as you can see, I have a worm in this one. So I need to get that out of there. And I need to just, I'm gonna have to do something with this plant. And we have a baby collard plant here. But this one, this is two plants in here, so I need to thin those out so that they can actually grow better. And I'm probably going to put those on the porch. Um, the peach tree. In here we have actual broccoli. The other one is broccoli, Rob. And then, y'all, I don't even remember what this is. I think it's kale. I just dropped seeds and I said I'd thin them out. But that's all that we have planted right now. So let's talk about what I have coming. And we still have plenty of room over here. The lemongrass, it's time to cut some more of that and dry it out. Let's walk over to it. This is the lemongrass, it's trying to time to dry some more of that out. But I still have all of this back here that I can use. Um, all of these pots, I have plenty of more grow pots over there, the black bag. Um, and then I have that those two, well, the blueberry bush, I'm gonna leave that alone, but that black 10 gallon bag, I can still plant in it. All right, so. All right, so as you can see, all of this is cleared out. I'm gonna dig it up really good. I have, I think that's a carrot right there. You see that? I think that's a carrot. And I think this is a carrot too. So I'm gonna actually dig this out and put carrots all up in there anyway. But as you can see here, y'all, why do I have zinnias still popping up through here? Why? <laughs> here, um, the oregano is still growing. We have some parsley trying to come back through. The sage is still back here. And rosemary. I used that in the drink yesterday. And then my lemon balm, which is always scarce this time of year. Um, I need to thin this out because I can dry my, these are flower pot, seed pods now with the um, marigolds. Get out my face, mosquito. And then in here, we just dropped some dill seeds and some um, mescaline. So you can see 
that's not the right tag, but it's mescaline in there. And in here is just lettuce and then some dill seeds. So I hope this light is gonna be fine. So I have all of the things out here that I'm planning to plant, whether it's inside or outside, like I said. So here we have some radicchio. Trust me, it's at least 20 some things. Some Swiss chard, arugula, romaine lettuce, mescaline mix. This is like your, um, what do you call it? Spring mix salad. Then this is the broccoli rob, which has already been planted. As soon as I come outside, they start their practice patterns. But I don't know if I said radicchio, but radicchio. You saw the sugar daddy snap peas that I have. This is the broccoli. Sun is going down some. Woo. We have kale. Some leeks. And yes, I am planting a lot of this. Well, all this is basically from seed. So, we'll, I mean, trial and error, honey. This is um, flat Dutch cabbage, which is the cabbage that grows in our area really well. Um, curled mustard greens. Uh, rutabagas. I have regular carrots, which I think that's what's coming up down there, but I didn't drop any, so that must be from when I dropped them in the spring and they just didn't um, germinate. Rainbow carrots, or I like to call them fancy carrots. Some regular radishes. I had, You know what? I had radishes in that box over there, but they dug them out. That's exactly what was in that empty one where I said nothing was planted there. It's because I dropped some rat, um, radishes in there also, but they dug them out. But that's all right because I got some for them because now I got some Easter egg radishes, some watermelon radishes, and some French breakfast radishes. Take that, squirrels. Here come some more jets. So my herbs, parsley, cilantro, which I need to order some more cilantro seeds, dill, and these are both packets of chives. I've already planted one. Where did I drop chives? Oh, I dropped chives in there where I dropped the cilantro. Cause I was like, this pack is open. So I've already dropped some chives. Probably need to drop some more considering I saw little squirrel digging patterns. Also, I'm gonna do some more beets. I have some pak choy. I have Bloomsdale spinach. And I have um, Black Knight tot soy, which is like a spinach. So. These are the things that I am planting for my fall winter garden. And um, I just dropped all them seeds. I wanted to show you a little bit closer, if I can hold it up. So I don't know if you can see the holes that are in the seeds on these collard um, leaves, but I moved them up here because I moved them on the porch because I need to cover them with some nets. I want to go over and make sure that I got all of the um, worms off of those leaves because I really want my collards to bloom and do you know grow whatever they do. They don't bloom. They just grow full. Uh, this is my first fall winter garden, so I'm super, super, super excited and praying that I'm very successful with it. I want to be able to sustain my kitchen with as much produce as I can out of my yard instead of spending all the money in a grocery store. Because y'all know we buy stuff in the store and after a few days, it's going bad. So I want to see you know if I can be successful in sustaining most of our herbs and things and you know in my yard and in the kitchen because I am gonna grow some things in the house as well um, like I said I do have some things that I need to shift around over here some things I need to transplant like I need to spread out those radishes I'm gonna be taking y'all along with me on this adventure we need to get somebody to clean that gutter out because all of those leaves focus reel it back in girl reel it back in y'all know how I can be a white butterfly just flew past I don't like those. They're the ones that leave stuff on your leaves. So anyway, I'm going to end today's video here because we got what? Enough video to get done for tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all later. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye.